everybody, I'm going to do today, it's Agnes, in case you don't know, a viewer's question and today it's from H. So H has said, I've been watching your YouTube videos and recently learning about remote seduction. Learning, I have done numerous guided meditations from your YouTube channel and for a couple of days since my person of interest cut me off. I suddenly felt amazing by the end of the second day when I thought of him instead of anxious and sad and this confidence that we will drift back together in time has filled me. I've lost the desire to stalk his social media and desperately check to see if he has contacted me. I no longer fret about a third party and if for a second my mind wanders to a darker place, I am able to consciously redirect them to visualizing him and a smile washes over my face. I can't understand how my emotions change in the first 48 hours. I don't know if that means that this is working, but I'm enjoying the new mental state so much. I did commit to guided meditations from your YouTube, your YouTube channel for an hour in the morning and an hour at night. One of the videos I've been using twice a day is the guided meditation for intimacy. Is that the same as remote seduction? And is the whispering technique the same as remote influencing? If not, what are some methods for guided meditations for remote seduction and influence? I'm getting very confused as to what is the most simple method. If you answer this YouTube, please keep me anonymous. Okay, so now let me go back step by step, H. So your person of interest has cut you off and you have started learning about remote seduction. Now, I wanna say this. I'm not a big fan of remote seduction and this is the reason why. It is about trying to get from someone. Seduction, to seduce, to try and allure and attract someone back. But for me, it's still coming from a getting place and I don't support it, okay? Anything where you're trying to get is not my favorite thing. Okay, I'm a big believer in self-love and I'm a big believer in you stopping getting and learning to give yourself love to yourself, from yourself, from within, and then radiate that out and stop trying to get, but learn to give. The energy is a complete shift from getting to giving, okay? Now, you said you've been doing numerous meditations on the channel and you said, when I thought of him instead of feeling anxious and sad, the confidence that we will drift back together in time has filled me. Okay, that's okay, no problem with that. I lost the desire to stalk his social media and desperately check to see if he has contacted me. Okay, now H, this is all really fine and good, but you've only been doing this for two days, okay? My thing is to say to you, keep going and keep building on you and keep looking at I would say doing some self-love instead of having all your focus on this other person okay all your questions are about I'm doing this stuff but I'm still trying to get trying to get trying to get and you can't have a good relationship if you're trying to get from someone all the time okay so I mean the fact that you don't feel anxious and sad is is good but you still have all your focus on him and that's a red flag for me, okay? Now, I'm consciously able to redirect them. You're talking about your thoughts here and visualize him with a smile that washes over my face. Now, you said about your emotions have changed in the first 48 hours. I'm enjoying this new mental state so much. That's fine, that's great, but your mental state is still wrapped up totally in him. Okay, you've got to feel at peace and calm and self-loving within you. That's the foundation that creates good relationships. Okay, I want to make that really clear. Now, you're doing an hour in the morning and an hour at night. If you're not doing at least 75% self-love, I'm sorry to say, but you're too obsessed with him. You're too focused on him. You're too addicted to him. I did a YouTube called Attraction versus Addiction. I'll put it down below. Can I suggest that you have a look at that, okay? Now, I did do a meditation for inter physical intimacy 
Physical intimacy is about you imagining being with someone and connecting with them, but it's about doing it from a giving, loving space, not doing it from I've got to seduce you and try and get you, okay? It's a different, looking at it from a different point of view. Now, you said in the whispering technique, is that the same as remote influencing? You are able to influence with the whispering technique, but again, it's about not putting all your eggs in the whispering technique basket. Whispering technique I would say you use it sparingly. You still do 75% self-love and you do 25% other techniques for your specific person. Whispering technique can be one of them. But if you're not laying a good foundation with the self-love, you're still icing a rotten cake, as they say. Okay? You've got to have a good self-love foundation to have a good relationship. You have to have a relationship with yourself a relationship with the god within and a relationship where you're calm and at peace you're not just scrambling to get from somebody else okay so now you've said if not what are some methods or guided meditations for remote seduction and influence well i'm not going to recommend any of those because i don't believe in them h and I can feel in your email you're not in a self-loving place. You're just trying to get from your person. So can I suggest you really start looking at your lack of self-love and your obsession with this person on the outside, okay? It's, it's um, I mean, we all start where we start and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't deal with this lack of self-love, on the inside and ask yourself why am I so obsessed with getting love from this person because it's an addiction it's like an addiction okay I need them to be back with me so I can feel good I need to be with them so that I can feel okay self-love is what makes you feel okay self-love is the foundation of what we need to get to to be able to really be a good partner for a specific person otherwise we are a burden on them and we're trying to suck love out of them okay that's why they leave because they don't want that burden and they don't want that responsibility okay so i hope that um that helps you understand a little, little bit more have a look at everyone as you pushed out i'll put the youtubes down below for that as well and i will also put down below the contents of your consciousness okay so and there's a youtube i did called when i do my own work or my own self-love how does that influence another person i will put that down below for you too all right Lots of love and work on you, H. Work on you. Let go of stalking. I know you said you've stopped it, but you've only stopped for a couple of days. Addiction reoccurs. Addiction rears its head again because of fear, because of anxiety, because of our basic thinking that we're not loved. And that's something that you have to correct within you. He didn't cause it and he can't cure it. It is your job to correct. Okay? All right. Lots of love and try and do 75% self-love would be my recommendation.